In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything that there is to know about the distortion slash space time riffs. Before we can even get into riffs, you have to have at least one star on your trainer badge. This happens, it's a point in the story where Don will ask you to do some research on Pokemon. After you report back to Jubilife Village, you will get your first star from the main lady with the blue hair, right? So. After you get your first star, you will be able to cross the bridge that's in the Obsidian Fieldlands, and you're gonna have to tame Cleavor first. After you tame Cleavor and you go to the Crimson Mirelands is when you will unlock the ability to see these distortion rifts on the map. Now, if you've played Breath of the Wild, you'll be pretty familiar with how this works, but the distortion rifts will be random events that happen in the game. Similar to the Blood Moons and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, these will be happening at random. As far as I know, there's no real way to get them to happen for sure, but once they happen on the map, you will be seeing an icon above your screen that will say that the space-time rift is appearing. When you see that message, the rift isn't actually there, you have time to get to the rift because it hasn't actually started yet, it's forming. And after some time passes, then it's gonna say that the actual rift is there. Meaning, if you see it there, don't think you ran out of time and it's already, like, it's like the rift is happening and you're missing stuff. It hasn't happened yet, you have time to get there. After some time passes, it will say that the rift has formed. Now, in these rifts, you will be seeing a lot of Pokemon that you won't be normally seeing there. Like, for example, you'll see Onyxes and Lickitungs. Sometimes you can see Gengar, Weavile. There's a lot of Pokemon, and there's actually a comprehensive guide on which Pokemon spawn where in the rifts that I'm going to post up on the screen now. These rifts have high chances to spawn shiny Pokemon as well. If you're looking to shiny hunt, which I am, I lost my shiny tragically in another video. But this is going to have a higher chance for shiny Pokemon. It will have a lot of rare items on the ground that you'll be able to use to evolve your Pokemon, such as upgrades, protectors for Rhyhorn and Rhydon, Dubious Disc for Porygon Z, Razor Claw for Weavile. There's going to be a lot of items here that you're going to want to grab. It'll be a longer process to get these items naturally. My advice to capitalize on these rifts fully is the moment it spawns, get there as quick as possible. Wait some time until it spawns. After it spawns, you're going to want to run around and grab all the items you can on the map. Don't be afraid. Unless you see a shiny, stop and get that. But get all the items first because these items will be very important, especially the Comet Shards that sell for 15,000, as well as the many evolution items that you can get here before getting them naturally. will save you a lot of time on a lot of Pokemon you want to get. So I advise doing that first. Then after that, you will want to stop and catch these Pokemon that are here. There will be a lot of rare spawns again if you want to have some of these people on your team. Some people can only be found here like Magnemite and Magneton in the Crimson Mirelands Distortion Portal and as well as Porygon in the Crimson Mirelands Distortion Portal. From what I've gathered, you'll have about seven to eight minutes to get to these Distortion Rifts before they actually turn into the Distortion Time Portals. And you'll have about seven to 10 minutes to catch everything that there is in the portal. So you'll have a decent amount of time to catch the items in the Pokemon, but you gotta move fast because that portal will close and all the things will just disappear. And that will be everything you need to know on distortion portals and spawns in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If this helped you out, subscribing is greatly appreciated. I'll be making more content in the future. See you guys later. Love and light.